We have number 59 for bass students, and in this video we are going to learn to play the song Ode to Joy. It's number 86 on page 23 in your book. Now you are going to need a pencil. We're not actually going to be adding any shifting in. I indicated that in the last video, that's not correct. We're not adding any shifting, but you still need your pencil because I want you to number all of the measures, all right? The reason we're numbering the measures is because this song's kind of long, in the middle of it's kind of a difficult spot, and so we're gonna be, I'm gonna say, hey, start to measure 11, or start to measure nine, or 10, or whatever, and you need to know where those are, okay? So I'm gonna show you, I've numbered this. You should end up with 16 measures. What I recommend that you do is that you pause the video right now, and then make your book look like mine, okay? So pause it now. And now at this point, you should have numbered all of the measures in Ode to Joy number 86. Now you're gonna start with shadow bowing and we are only going to do the first eight measures to start with, okay? And we'll learn the others in pieces. And you'll see why when we get there because, well, it's a little bit trickier than some of your other songs, but it's well worth it because it's a fun song to play. All right, so your shadow bowing measure one through eight. The speed I'm going to use is 63. If you find this too fast, practice on your own at a slower tempo, and then try to join me again. You might want to watch the video just to see how I'm going to teach this. So sh shadow bowing here, there's a lot of shifting going on. Follow the shifts that are there. Okay, shadow bow, and first position to start. One, two, shadow bow, and go. F sharp, and jump, shift up. Shift down. Slow, bow, three, take, four, take. Shift up to third position. Shift down to first. been the rhythm in measure four and in measure eight because you probably know this song, right? It's a pretty common song, one of Beethoven's most famous songs that he ever wrote. And Beethoven actually wrote it with a slightly different rhythm there. So you're like, oh, did I mess up there? Did she play that wrong? No, we're playing it not quite how Beethoven wrote it because we don't know those rhythms yet, okay? However, it's so close to being able to play everything in the song, they put it here anyways, we're gonna learn it. It's just gonna be slightly different in a couple of places as far as the rhythm goes. Please play what's on the page and what I'm doing, not what you're remembering in your head as far as what Beethoven really wrote, okay? Now, you're gonna play that with me. If you think you need to pause the video and practice the shifts, please do so, okay? Again, 63 is the speed that I'm playing at. Play it with me now, just measure one through eight. And one, two, beginning, and go. so and then join me again when you're ready now if you didn't number your measures like you were supposed to you're gonna have some problems now because I'm gonna ask you to play specific measures find measure 11 and just look at measure 11 it goes E F sharp G F sharp E so like up and down a mini scale I think oh that's gonna be easy except there's eighth notes in there and you have to cross strings really fast. It's just the run pony rhythm, but you gotta cross strings really fast. So you just play measure 11, you're gonna echo me, you're gonna go pretty slow. Okay, echo me, make a tunnel like it says to, so I'm gonna keep that G, that F sharp finger hover while I play the G and then press it back down. Do measure 11, echo me. Go. One, two, take, three, four. E, F sharp, G, 
G, F sharp, E. Try that again, measure 11. And go, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, again. G, F sharp, E. Now look at measure 10. I find measure 10 to be a little bit more difficult. It's very similar to 11, very similar. What's different is it starts up bow, you see that, and instead of going E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, it goes E, F sharp, G, F sharp, it skips and goes to open D. That's what's tricky about it. Um, and then starting up bow is a little bit awkward. And you still got that awkward string crossing thing going on really kind of quickly too. So let's try that, try measure 10. Again, hover, so you're ready for that F sharp again. Echo me, measure 10. And go. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D. Try again, measure 10, start up bow. And go. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, open D again. Open D. Now do measure 11, the easier one. Same rhythm, start down bow. Sorry. Echo B. And go. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. Again, 11. And go. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D. Now, if you can't do those yet, please pause the video and kind of get them to where you can. Because now what we're going to do, we're going to go back and start at 9, and you're going to shadow bow. Now, it seems weird to shadow bow after you've already played it. You just got to trust me on this, okay, that it's going to be helpful. All right, measure 9, and this is the other place where the rhythm's different. So measure 9, the half note, make sure you're going one te, two te. That's a very common mistake. Shadow bow, measure 9, and we're just doing 9 through 12. That's it. One te, shadow bow. Half note. what you need to do come back in and join me and play 9 through 12 with me and red say and go slow bow If you need to pause and practice 9 through 12, please do so. Practice what you need to practice. We're going to do 9 all the way to the end. Okay? Measure 9. Slow bow to start. And 1, 2, measure 9, and go. Slow bow. shortcut to this. You just got to practice it. Here are some, some tricks though. What we did with 9 through 12, which is probably what you're struggling with, we did 10 and 11. We did it slower than the speed of 63. Okay. I would eventually like for you to be able to play the whole song at like 66 or 70. That would be great. Um, but what you could do if you're only struggling with a certain part, just do like 10 and 11 slower than 63 and then get it up to 63 and then try the whole song at 63. Now, I would not recommend the whole song slower because the half notes will be difficult for you to get a good sound slower than 63. So get the difficult parts up to 63 and then try the whole song. That's the best way to practice this because the half notes will be difficult slower and the eighth notes, measure 10 and 11, are difficult faster. So work it out to where you can do that. And eventually, again, build it up and build it up till you can play it hopefully at 70 someday, someday soon. Make sure you're doing all the shifts and pressing and hard, bringing that elbow with you. Use a lot of weight, the weight of your arm. That's going to help you sound good here. 
okay? Practice till you can't get it wrong, and then practice more till it sounds really good and you have really strong sound.